Hi everyone, this is Pete. I know, right, what a letdown. I've just recently got myself a bit of new equipment, as you can see on screen in front of you right now. I've got a nice tie clip microphone, which I can speak to you from somewhere other than the computer and the consoles, which are over there. And I've got a tripod, so I can put my camera on it and record you and pull faces at you. Very nice. I thought I'd test that out today with today's Sunday driving episode. And as it has been for the case of the last few weeks, we'll be playing Split Second on the Xbox 360. Enjoy. Okay, so here we are on camera for the first time. Very exciting. Better remember not to, you know, take my trousers off or flop my knob out or anything. Because, you know, that usually happens while I'm playing. But uh, not today. Not today. Um, Where were we? Let's have a look. So, we are, of course, playing the season mode. So far, we've completed Rigged to Blow, Splashdown, Big Rig Boom. Oh, that's silver. That's silver medal. Infuriating. But I'm not worrying about it now. I'm just not thinking about it. Sunset Fire, we've done. Uh, hit the skids. Um, yeah, we... Oh, we didn't actually do the bonus event on that one. We only got second in that one. So we did do it. Ignore me. Um... Today's episode, then, is Midway Pass. So, what have we got coming up? We've got two races. We've got a helicopter firing missiles at us. And we've got, I think that's the truck one, isn't it? All right. Let's take a look. The epic journey to the be epic journey to be a crown season pace. champion gathers pace. It's action all the way, as the gates to the power plant are thrown open for the first time. Meanwhile, drivers are finally able to fight back against the chopper in all-new Air Revenge. With an exclusive car at stake for today's winning contestant, hold on to your seats because things are about to get even hotter. Well, that's all very exciting. The idea of fighting back against that chopper is very, very appealing. Um, but let's start with a race around the power plant. And... What car shall we take? We still don't have any Class A cars yet. I'm going to steer away from the drifty ones again and probably stick with something like the Vortex that we've been using for now. Right, so, as a reminder, the race events in this, they consist of, um, well, obviously beating your opponents, but you can build up power, uh, a bit like you build up boost in the Burnout games, but power in split second is used to set off power plays, which are big explosions that hopefully take some of your opponents with them. I shall attempt to demonstrate. Right, so there's one level of power already, ready to go. All we have to wait for is the little icon that says press A to boom. It doesn't actually say that. It's what it implies. It signifies press A to boom. And there we go. And we didn't... Oh no! I wrecked myself. That was not the best way to start demonstrating this, was it? Oh well. As you might expect from a course themed around power plants, this is quite a uh, quite a volatile track. Lots of things to blow up, lots of things to collapse and fall on your head when you least expect it. And yes, those chimneys do exactly what you think they do if you build up enough power. And seventh. This is not going very well so far. Nice. Is there any fifth? It's progress, though. 
We've got three whole laps. I'm just not hitting anyone with these at the minute. It's very disappointing. This is what you'll find the further you go in a split second is the, the more aggressive the other racers get. And also the better they get at avoiding all these things you might be throwing at them as well. That was nice. We got two of them there. And we're in first. Fantastic. Now we just need to hold on to that, which is easier said than done with the amount of rubber banding in this game. There goes one of the chimneys. Yeah. All right. Shortcut. Yes, please. Oh, dear me. Oh, I got a hold of the lap yet. Oh, no. Oh, you cheeky fuck. Get out of here. Level 2 power play for you. Got him. Nearly got myself. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, what a waste. What a waste. Right, well... Second, that's better. There's someone coming up behind me, though. I don't think first is in the bag for this. Uh oh, no. He really wants to come past. Doesn't it? Oh, you shit. Go on, take him. No, you can fuck right off. <gasps> Come on. Come on. Yes. Whew. That, my friend, that is the split second experience right there. Need to lie down now, but no. Onward, onward to air revenge. It's time to get our own back on the helicopter. Let's stick with the vortex for the minute. I know it's generally a good idea to take a strong car for these events, but uh, I know how to handle this car. Wreck the chopper first to beat the target time. Evade the missiles, drift and jump to fill your power bar. When icons appear, hit a power play button to deflect missiles. Alright. So this is a brand new type of event for this episode. Let's see how we get on. There's the chopper's health bar at the top of the screen. So, a bit of dodging to begin with. Nice. But we're not trying to earn points this time around. We're just trying to earn enough power to deflect the missiles back to the chopper. And 
take him down. And as you can see, being efficient in this type of event depends on sort of building up power ahead of where you need to. So yes, you can fill a whole power bar just by dodging a whole wave of missiles, but if you can slip in a few drifts and um, jumps and that sort of thing along the way as well. Level 2 power plate. Oh, that does much more damage. It does like 3 or 4 off the health bar, so it's worth saving up for those rather than just chipping away with the level 1. So we'll do that for the rest of this event. Just take care to continue avoiding these, doing a bit of drifting. Level two. Get him. Very nice. Maybe one more of those should finish him off, I reckon. Not sure we're going to beat that time limit, but uh, we'll see. No, definitely not going to get that time limit at this rate. But we know what to do now. Famous last words. Get him. Nice. Just a second. So. so as you might notice throughout the rest of this series, um, the quick play mode, which lets you just do single races. Uh, you unlock the different events as you go through by completing them in the season mode. And so now we can play just this kind of race whenever we want, which is nice. All right, let's try it again, but better. All right. Bring on the level two power plays. All right, so getting a perfect wave actually gives you two bars of power. So it's also in your interest to try and um, actually avoid all of the missiles if you can. And steer clear of those shockwaves like I didn't do there. Oh no! Oh no 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 no. Very poor indeed. Well, we got some power out of it at least. And we're not dead! Which is always nice. Nice. Okay, carefully. <laughs> Gonna oh no! That went badly. Don't think we're going to do this now somehow. But, well, let's see what impact getting wrecked has on your uh, the final results. Still got a little over a minute and a half left. One more should do it. If we can get a perfect wave here and a nice drift. Oh, 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 ow, ow, ouch, ouch. Oh, well, that ruined everything. So, you know what? Let's. Forget that happened, shall we? Right, this time's the one. Oh, 
perfect wave. Have some. Nice. Much better. Imperfect wave. Very imperfect. It's our secret. The magic of television. My wife, Andy, was watching this terrible TV show the other night called Yummy Mummies. And even for reality show TV standards, it was one of the worst things I think I've ever seen. It's because it was the most staged thing. I was like, oh no, you've done this obviously contrived thing that no one in reality would ever do. What will you do? There were no missiles in that show, however. It might have been more enjoyable if there were missiles in that show, but there were no missiles in that show. Ooh! Alright, about halfway there. Let us do better. That's nice. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh. That'll do. Hit him. Nice. And one more. Plenty of time left. This is the one. This is the one. Have it. There we go. Nicely done. I think you'll agree. <sighs> right. So next up, we have another race. Let us race. Right, you know how this works by now. Let's just try and knock this out in one go. That's what she said. Again, you notice it's quite a bit more difficult to get a clean hit on one of the opponents in these later races. But we're good. It's fine. It's all good. Got three whole laps to do. Plenty of things to blow up. Double wreck. That's a nice start. And into second place with us. And back into third place with us. <gasps> Ooh! I also feel like the power plays are increasingly dangerous at this point in the game as well. Like you're just as likely to take yourself out with them as you are your opponents. That's partly because the cars are a bit faster, so you actually reach the point where the power play is going off sooner than you would do earlier in the game. Um, but also they're a bit more inclined to sort of scatter debris across the entire track, which you need to make sure you're ready for. 
So that's another aspect where learning that aspect of each of the courses is very helpful as well. So not only learning the best way to actually navigate around the course, but also where all those hazards are. Oh. Somehow, I'm not feeling like we're going to knock this out in one go, like I said we should. But, you know, you never know. You saw in the first race today that things can turn around very, very quickly in this game. Even if all looks lost. And again, unless it's in a case where we sort of miss first place very narrowly, I'm not going to get too hung up on getting first place in everything. Unless we find that we actually need that by the end of the game. Right, we got a red power play ready. And let's look out for a good opportunity to use it on Mr. First Place there. There it is. Nice. Did I get him? I got... Oh, no! I didn't actually wreck me. It did cause me to lose an awful lot of speed, however. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. That was looking so promising. And now look where we are. Seventh. I hope we've all learned something from this. Fourth. It's better. I don't think it's enough, though. It's not enough. And not soon enough, either. Especially not if he's going to do something shitty like that. What a mess. Some poor showrunner's got to clean it up afterwards. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Somehow we still qualify for the bonus event, though, so that's something, I guess. But no. That... I said we're not going to get too hung up, but we are going to get hung up on that. Because fifth place is just unacceptable, frankly. Especially when it was down to complete incompetence with that level two power play. So. Nice. Triple wreck. Oh, this is nice. First place. Now to hold on to it for two and a half laps. Easy. Easy, easy, easy is what that is. That was what we call a bad corner. Aha, you thought you would blow me up, but in fact you just sent me into a drift and gave me more power. Good. Alright, not looking too bad so far.
again, as I've mentioned in previous episodes, once you're in first place, you actually don't have as many... Okay, we go left at that one then. Yeah, um, you don't have as many uses for power when you're in first place because you can only fire power plays in front of you, so... However, it is helpful to have a whole bunch of stuff stored up just in case something like what just happened happens. I'm going to save it for that big level 2 one as well. Again, even. Oh, but it's so tempting. That icon comes up and you, you just naturally, just reflexively want to hit the A button to make something explode. Oh, I cannot do that corner well. No, you don't. Alright, one more lap. Fourth place. We can do this. Level 2 power play coming right up. Let's not wreck myself with it this time. I didn't wreck myself, but I'm not entirely sure I actually wrecked anyone else either. Still, I mean, second. Now first. All right. Skill. Mad skills is what that is. I'm sure you'll agree. Whoever's behind me, go away. Oh no! Why you do this? Right, I got this. Oh, I might actually have this. Sweet. Much better. And we want a car. Which is a nice heavy one. Which will be good for probably the next event, actually. Depends how drifty it is. Do not like the drifty cars in this game. Because even the not drifty cars are extremely drifty, so... Right, next up then, we have Survival, which is the one where the lorry is throwing explodey barrels at you. Very strong, not very drifty. Sounds good to me. Let's give it a shot. So, I feel like this event has gone a bit smoother than some of the previous ones, which is good. That probably bodes ill for this event, and the bonus event, and the elite race. But we'll see. So we need 121,900 points. That's quite a lot of points. So, we need to take a lot of care to get those multipliers going in this. So if you've not seen this type of event before, you have to pass the lorries while they are throwing stuff at you. Now two types of things they throw at you. They throw you blue barrels, which are explosive, uh, but they don't wreck you. They just sort of send you a bit off course, a bit like getting caught in a shockwave from one of the power plays. Uh, the red barrels, however, will immediately wreck you if you get caught in their explosions so you don't want to do that and every three trucks that you pass your multiplier increases however if you get wrecked then your multiplier resets so you don't want that to happen really 
So, we're currently on a triple multiplayer. Which is actually racking up those points. Oh, 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 no. I had to say something, didn't I? Oh, right. Okay. So, we're in fourth already. That's fine. No! Aye! Oof. <laughs> well, this is a lot harder than it has been. We're getting quite short on time as well. We are in third, though, so that's not actually been too bad an effort, considering how badly it has started going. Ah! When you get to sudden death mode like that, that's when the timer expires and all the barrels at that point become the red ones, so... Third, not bad, but I think we can do better than that. So I'm going to give that another go. Yeah, so we just needed 21,000 more points, which if we can keep the multiplier going, shouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's go. So the sort of strategy you want to follow in this kind of event is keeping an eye on where the truck is and the, the path that it's going to be flinging out the barrels from. Because it's usually going to sort of try and fling out the barrels on the side of the road that's got the most space. So if you can sort of squeeze down the narrow side of the truck, you can often put yourself in a good position. But then sometimes it just messes with you. Alright, multiplier up. And in situations like that, you just need to keep an eye on where the red barrels are coming from. And try... Try your very best. Oh no! Didn't even hit a barrel. Ugh. It's okay. We can do this. It's fine. Everything's fine. No. Everything's not fine. No! Last life. We have done poorly. Oh well. Nope. Still going. Somehow. I'm sure that was our last life. Apparently not. That was our last life. Yeah. So. About that. Again. Those yellow drone cars are pretty much just there to get in the way. As they will also sort of intercept some of the barrels and set them off. Which can cause some quite distracting pyrotechnics. No! Oh, no, no.
Well, I can't say much for my demonstration of my control over the vehicle in this one, but we're not dead yet, so... Right, multiplier three, which is a cue for me to die. Oh, why, why do I even joke about these things? Well, we got over 100k again. But somehow I don't think we're going to get that much further. Oh, we're in second. So we only need 10,000 more points. And we've done it! I did not expect that. But... <sighs> Victory sometimes comes from strange places in this game. And I'm not going to complain when it does. Right, lovely string of gold medals. Let's have a go at the um, bonus event, which is another detonator one, which is the basically the time trial one. And again, in most of these, you have to use a specific car. So if it's not a car that you can handle very well, then fuck you, basically. Why back Cyclone? Can't remember what kind of car that is. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Right. Bring it on. Oh yeah, and as well as having to beat the clock, it sets off power plays for you automatically in front of you as you go through the course. Which is nice. And it's usually the really big and difficult ones, like that one. But we're good. This car doesn't seem too bad at the moment. Doesn't seem horrendously drifty or anything. It actually seems quite nicely grippy. Is it called the Ryback Cyclone? Might no, that that was that was the wrong way. Ryback Cyclone. Might have to see if we can. Uh, make use of that in the other races, because yeah, this handles quite nicely. Yay! Alright, ten seconds to go. I doubt we're going to make it with that crash that we had, but uh, we'll see how close we are. Not very close at all. Hmm. Well, I know we can do better. Whether we can do first place better remains to be seen, but uh, let's give it another try at least. All right, let's go. Actually, completely forgot that happened. All right, 
Avoid, avoid all the scary things. Nice the zigzag pattern through there. Don't crash. When the big girder thing falls, go to the left. Not the right. The left. And actually steer around corners. Rather than making sarcastic asides to the camera. I am driving like a complete idiot. But at least I haven't crashed. The crashes. Hmm. Not convinced we actually made it any quicker than last time. In fact, we were slower. <sighs> well, if I didn't drive quite so much like a complete spanner in that one, then uh, that might have gone a little bit better. Yeah, remember that night time. Okay, all good. Very bad cornering, but never mind. Let's try going this way this time, just to see if it's any quicker. And taking that up top route. Left. I feel like that was quite a bit quicker. But we'll see, I guess. Oh god, I need to stop clipping walls. Oh yeah, that was much faster. Not fast enough still, I don't think, but better. Definitely better. Still only third. Hmm. Right. One, one, one more try. Just, just the one. Onward! I think the thing to remember that first one is that it actually falls down well before the sign's telling you to turn right, so you need to prepare for that really, otherwise you, you end up sort of just bouncing around the wall a bit. Oh, the trouble with this one is the roads are just quite narrow. So given the fact most of the cars in this have a bit of a propensity to slide their back out at the slightest provocation. Clipping the walls is a very real risk most of the time. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, 
I always do that one badly. Yeah, we're slower this time. I can see where I can shave a few seconds off. It's just actually doing that that is the challenging part. So we'll have, you know, just, just one more try. One more try. Oh, come on now. We haven't had too much trouble with the other events on this one. There had to be one that we have to try over and over again. Because that's how this game goes. Right, I'm ready for you, falling thing. And we're going this way. Yes, we are. Alright, very good. Take the low road. to the left and then around the corner to the right this is feeling a little bit smoother so far all right tight turn here okay tight turn here again stay off the walls if at all possible it's fine everything's fine Right, don't mess this one up. Hmm. Lost a lot of speed. Didn't technically mess it up, but did lose a lot of speed. Messed that one up, though. Oh! Nearly second. I can get second. I'm going to try and get second. Fuck first. I can get second. I can definitely get second. Definitely. Nothing, nothing happened there. We were just waiting for it to load. And there was a strange animation of someone playing this level really badly on the loading screen. Oh, that was bad. Very bad. This doesn't feel like a good run. This doesn't feel like a second place sort of run. This is going quite poorly. wasn't as horrendous as I thought it was, but it was still very, very poor. So, uh, you know what that means.
doesn't mean that. It does not mean that. It means this! Something like that, anyway. This game, I do feel like it punishes you quite severely if you... Just your concentration lapses slightly for a moment. I feel that's when... That's when you make the silliest mistakes with handling the car. Is this when you think... Just when your mind wanders into doing something else. And you just think, oh, it's all fine. And then you end up zigzagging across the road and clipping every wall there is and... Running straight into a power play and all that kind of thing. This has not been a good one. And that cornering isn't going to help, is it? No, no it isn't. No, that was extremely poor. I just realised now I'm on camera, you could actually see when I hit my nose on my uh, on my pop shield. Which is nice, and not at all embarrassing. Right. A terrible start. Concentration. Right, just straight ignore the explosions because they don't actually knock you off course on this bit. They just fuck with your visibility. Right. Carefully around this bit. Extra carefully around this bit. That awkward last corner coming up. Turn early so we don't hit the wall. Second. Second. That's enough for now. Yeah, I don't know where you get another seven seconds on that one from. There, there may be, like, a different route we can take. Okay, so, finally, we come to the Elite Race. Uh, and I'm going to ditch that one for the minute in favour of... What was that? That one is faster as well. This one just seems to be just the best car. So let's let's give it a try in a race and see how it performs. Right. 
So the elite races, as you'll hopefully recall, they're standard races, but you have a different set of opponents here, and they feed into a larger championship. And so your final result in the elite race affects your standings in the overall championship for the season. And so you don't necessarily need to win all of them by the end of the game, but you do need to make sure you're in first place in the overall standings. Hmm. This car said it was really fast, but I, I'm not feeling it just yet. I'll just take that corner quite nicely, eh? I think Vixen is one that it's quite important that we beat, so we shall give her a bit of grief. Triple wreck! Yeah, this car handles quite nicely as well, actually. Doesn't skid out... Doesn't skid out too much in the corners. Nice amount of grip. If we had to wreck one of them, that's the one I wanted to wreck. Nice. Just to warn you, I do feel like I've had an enormous fart brewing for this entire episode, so I'm just concerned it's going to slip out at an inopportune moment, so if that does end up happening, then I can only apologise, really. Because, you know, it's quite exciting. I'll do my best to not do that, though. Where is first place? Oh, you cheeky bitch. What did it... What? What? What even happened there? Yes! That's the stuff. I like how I just drove over the corpse of her car and got credit for a jump for that as well. Uh, final lap, right. Come on. Too late on that one. Yeah, I don't know about this car. It's not awful. But, despite what it said on the speed stat, it doesn't feel very fast either. So, I don't know. See, being able to go in a corner like that without breaking, that's really cool. Maybe that's something I should be try to be doing a bit more. Yeah, I think that might be the trick for this car. Because that's not good enough. So, let's try again. Bearing this new strategy in mind.
so I reckon we'll, we'll probably need to do a drift on that corner that goes under the ship that's this one here because that that's just a really tight corner and not that one must be the next one the next big corner but like corners like that you just don't need to let up on the accelerator even This one we need a drift. Okay, into fourth. But that corner we can just steer around. Keep left here in case that truck goes flying across the road. Just steer around here. Yeah, don't need to let off the accelerator there either. Don't hit me. Can surely get around here without easing off either. Yep. Okay. Right, so I need two more people to pass and two more laps in which to do it. I reckon we can do this. In fact, don't even need to drift around that one. If the fart was going to happen, it would have happened there, and it didn't. So, I'm I'm pleased to confirm that we're probably probably in the clear. Don't. Disappointing. This car absolutely sticks to the road. It's great. However, it does, like I say, seem to be doing that at the expense of speed somewhat. The other thing to bear in mind is that if you're not drifting, then you're not earning power either. That's one thing to consider. Still, we do have a nice big drift to do here. We handled quite badly. Just not gaining on those other ones. I'm having a bit of trouble hitting them with those power plays as well. Right, we'll have one more try with this car, and if that doesn't work out, then we will go back to our old faithful. Or perhaps the Cyclone, if we actually have it in our collection. Let's see how it goes.
I can still feel the fight. You know, the the pressure is building. I feel like if we if we don't complete this race quickly enough, then uh, there's going to be trouble. Come on, come on, come on. Oof. Oh, it's so hard to hit someone with that one. Oh no! That's the wrong way! Oh, that was going nicely as well. Still, chance to build up a nice bit of power here. Four wrecks. Very nice. And an achievement I apparently didn't have before. Okay, I'll take it. Very nice. Right, third place. 3.2 seconds to second place. I can just see them in the distance. Oh, this is frustrating. I say I'm just not entirely convinced we've got the speed we need here. to fourth. No, this is not going well. Yeah, so actually being able to just glide around those corners without drifting or braking or anything like that doesn't actually seem to be helping as much as I thought it would. Which is a pity. Oh no! It's not, uh, not really worth finishing that, I don't think. Um, so, if we say change event, we're going to just select that one again and actually change our vehicle. So do we have, no, we don't have the cyclone yet. So that must be one that we unlock soon. So let's take our old favorite, the Cabretti Vortex out again and see if that helps. Because that's done us pretty well for previous Elite races. But will it be enough for this one is the question. Right. See, I don't know if it's just that this one is lower to the ground, but it feels immediately 
a lot faster. Which suggests to me that it's going to be a bit more competitive. with the number of people that all wrecked all at the same time that uh, almost helped me out, that one. Yeah, see, we're getting much more in the way of power this time, which means we can set off a lot more of these. Drifting around that one, pretty good. This one usually gets a lot of people. Didn't get Vixen, eh? That's disappointing. Stay left here just in case. Yep, there it is. Learned that from one of the time trials the hard way. Oh, I got her! Oh, ha 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 ha. Never hit anyone with that one. So that's very satisfying. Particularly considering it's the person that I actually need to try and hold back as much as possible. So yeah, I think we have our answer there as to uh, what kind of car you should be taking for different kinds of events. So take the heavy cars on the ones where you're having missiles flung at you and take cars like this on the races. Seems like it should be obvious, but the stats on the uh, car select screen seem to suggest otherwise. And the fart is still brewing. Still just biding its time. Waiting. Waiting for its chance to erupt. And ruin everything. Oh, fuck you. Raptor. More like... Craptor. Yeah. Well, you can all die. Horribly. hard to catch them. Oh. There are some chances there. Oh, oh my god, that was a little bit too close for my liking. Yes, please. Alright, I'm happy with second. Second is good. Second will do fine. Still no fart. But that's okay. I have one. The Elite S510. Very exciting. 
So what are the standings now? I'm still in first base. And I still have quite a lead. And we've knocked Vixen down. So Raptor is now the one to watch. So we just need to make sure that we beat Raptor next time around. And we should be pretty secure. Alright, so let's see what the next episode is. We have Threshold Break. Well, cleaning up. Let's just go for this one first of all. And work our way through. You have to do them all eventually anyway, so... Next time on Split Second. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games, new and old, every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.